Howdy, me Flowbart here, and welcome. This is just going to be a quick test to show off the current status of what I did in about two to three hours today, just trying to make a, uh, a new system for the cars. And this is for the MCO Rebirth Project, which is part of the Center of Gravity Project. I ignore the, uh, the main image here. It was just something I threw in there just to kind of be a placeholder. But you can actually come in here. It is multiplayer. Um, you've got uh, you're gonna have to have Steam running in the background. I actually, turn down my master volume here. So with that, um, you'll have to have Steam running in the background, and it'll show your Steam username and avatar. If you do not have Steam running, it will say proudly right here, "Go connect the Steam dummy." <laughs> so. Um, if you were to click single player, it's going to go directly to a simple test track. Um, and this is utilizing the Polygon uh, cars from Cinti Studios Polygon City. And so this is just a basic car setup. You've got your outside view, which the, the car mechanics themselves are a little bit wonky. They work. Um, suspension works, the uh, the tires work, the tires spin, you can actually, I don't know if you can see it in, on the screen or not, but uh, when you're steering you can actually see the, the tires steer. So they're they're properly animated and they're properly ready to working. Um, you also can hit tab and go into the interior view and it shows the speed in kilometers and your gear uh, that you're currently in. You'll notice that it goes to in every so often because it is simulating a auto, uh, an actual manual transmission, although it is operating in automatic transmission mode. The car is configured to be um, open differential, or I'm sorry, limited slip and differential and rear wheel drive. It is not all wheel drive. And if you somehow manage to flip your car over, you can hit the F key and it will actually correct it. Now, keep in mind it will go to a zero 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 axis. So if you're traveling this way and your car rolls over, if I try to roll it over, I probably won't be able to do it. And of course I won't be able to do it, but when you hit F, it'll just, on this track, it'll turn you in this this axis. But let's actually go back to the main menu, go to multiplayer, and if you want to try a different track or and play by yourself, or you want to have somebody else join you, you can click host. And you can create whatever name you want, um, whatever you want for that. And you see, it's set for the city roam map. You can go to the test track, and it'll tell you what what track you're you have selected. So let's go to the um, the city map and hit make. And this will load you into random spawn points. Um, you got one spawn here. There's actually another spawn right there, just on the other side of that blue van. But you can actually drive around the city here. I'm taking and left some of the cars in here just for aesthetics and you know taking out the ones that were actually parked on the roadway. So if you're familiar with this asset pack you'd know that um, there's a lot of stuff in here. But yeah the car is um, working. The multiplayer is working. Now one thing you'll have to keep in mind is if you run over traffic cones or if you run into these little trenches you're done. If you hit F yeah, you're still done. Yeah, um, if you're in multiplayer, then you're gonna have to have somebody come and knock you out of the way and try to get you freed out. But if you're in single player and you run into one of these, it's game over. So you can actually go back to the main menu though and rehost it and start from scratch. See, it popped into a different uh, spawn location this time. So I put in like six different spawn locations. When you're in this mode, you can actually look around inside the car. You can see the car interior, the handbrake, the gear shift. The, um, the mouse controls are backwards. Uh, I'll look into the fixing that. So if you want to look up, you pull back. If you want to look down, you push forward. But you can actually look around. Or you can go back to your outside view. They make it so you can knock over the traffic cones and the uh, little construction barricades. Just because, well, See, this is where I'm trying to fix the steering. I need to get someone that can um, help along the way with um, setting up the configuration for the car. 
because the end result of what's going to happen is the car itself is going to be configured for everything. Tires, um, the differential setup. So if you want to change your diff out, go from um, a 373 to a 410 or whatever gear ratio in your rear axle, you can change your your your, your actual axle rating uh, ratio. Um, the other things like tires, you'll be able to change your different uh, to different tires, suspension settings, things of that nature, and there'll be parts you'll have to purchase from a um, a shop or from an a auction house, so that whenever you actually buy them, you can install them to your car, and once you install them, it will change the performance level of your vehicle. So having the right car setup will make or break how well your car does on the track. Now these these few tracks that I've got set up right now, there's no checkpoints, there's no laps, there's no nothing. These are just for getting out here and experimenting with. Uh, I just wanted to have something to, to play around with, try some handbrake turns. And what I'll try to do this evening is whenever you hit the space bar, that's actually your handbrake. So what I'll do is I'll try to rig up a set of lights so that um, as you're driving, if you hit your your handbrake, the brake lights will come on. You know, another thing you can use is um, hitting the S key or down key. That will actually slow you down, but it'll also put you in reverse so you can turn around. And if you're in the interior, you can see that um, it'll show the reverse as what your current gear is. So. Yeah, I just put together this in about two to three hours and just wanted to test out some changes to the car settings. Um, I have posted links in the description for the video for this particular build version and also inside the um, Discord channel in a couple different locations. So if you want to get this particular version, download it and play around with it. But bear in mind, this was about a two or three hour build. This was not something that I spent a lot of time on today. Um, I wasn't home very much, so I didn't get as much work done as I wanted to. But I will be doing some more work on it tonight. Like I said, I'll try to get the brake lights. That's something that's cosmetic, you know, nothing really, really fancy. And I'll probably go ahead and set up the animation blueprints for a couple more vehicles. Because currently right now, inside the um, the asset pack that I've got the these cars came with, I've got this, which kind of resembles a uh, 67 Camaro. I've got um, Crown Victoria, I've got the, as you can see, the police car right there. And each of these different cars, now if you notice I'm, I've got blue with white stripes. If I were to go back to the main menu and go back into it again. Okay. I've got it set up, and of course it's going to make a liar out of me, but um, I've got it set up to randomly select a different color for your car. See, like this time it picked um, red with white stripes. There's actually a couple different colors that it'll randomly cycle through. At some point down the road, what's going to happen is you'll be able to go to a paint and body shop and select a paint job, whether it's a solid paint job or um, with stripes, without stripes, and you know, just variations of different colors. Now, I've got um, some static cars set up also to put in the background. They're kind of um, throw-ins from the original Motor City Online, and currently right now they're not rigged for driving, but I'm trying to get those rigged up. See, there's a uh, Crown Victoria. I can rig that up. I've got a van. I've got an ambulance. I've got um, a two-door and four-door compact car. And probably see those over here in the parking lot. You see, you've got various different colors of the uh, the taxis, the Crown Vicks, the, the van, there's the uh, four-door and the two-door compact cars, and again, there's the van, and like I said, I do have an ambulance to go along with it as well. So I'll try to get the um, animation blueprint set up for more of the vehicles, and then actually look into creating a, um, a better store system. What I'll probably end up doing is setting it up to where this little two-door sport compact car is your actual starting car. 
and if you want to get the other vehicles you actually have to purchase them by winning money in races and things of that nature so um i know this is it's actually exit out of this i've actually got um on a different version of the project and can actually open up that project as part of the store system um, and ATM systems where you can actually check your your bank balances and so forth but um, I'll show that pretty quickly here hopefully this will load fast um, have been making some progress um, I do need to try to get some more people involved in the team and let's actually open this in standalone and I'll show it this way again the whole point of the of this mode of the game is while you're actually in the lobby system itself the lobby itself is going to be um, instead of something like this a physical lobby uh, I'm gonna end up changing this system back out going to the the central cog system and just was just showing off some of the interface stuff that I can work with we go to uh, auto sales you'll be able to choose from your different cars like your sport compact here and you'll you'll get a price tag of how much it'll cost to buy the cars and whatnot. You can see there's a 32 Ford Coupe sitting there in the background. Um, that's one of the cars that I want to try to get in here as quickly as I can. Let's actually go into single player and may not have had that one set up correctly, but we'll see. So yeah, you go into the um, the lobby map, and this would actually be the the actual in-game lobby, and Currently, right now, it's set up to where you're walking. You can hit space to um, to actually sprint. And when you walk over here to your your ATM, you'll be able to check your cash balance, your account balance, your cryptocurrency account um, balance, and that kind of stuff. And I'll have more of the static cars parked around the city um, as I get time to work on some of them myself, plus getting some other people to help with uh, conversion of the vehicles. But just want to share this with you guys and let you see what was going on with it and again what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to recruit some more people to help with this part of the project and with COG itself the uh, center of gravity if you're not, not familiar with what we're doing with that project is the center of gravity project is actually a virtual lobby system to where you come in here you can walk around you can socialize you'll be able to go and do things like okay um, I want to go to the pizza parlor I walk inside and I can hit E or whatever the key binding will end up being and you'll actually be able to go into it um, whereas like with ATM system you're gonna have cash that you'll be able to use to buy things with and you'll earn cash from doing racing and doing uh, first-person shooters or MOBAs or whatever else um, if you want to go and play, we'll say the, the car racing game, then you come over to whatever building it might be, and it could be a used car lot, or you go to the car lot and you go to the hangout spot where you can do a car show, or you can go to another building and say, okay, this is the one for going to do um, the a MOBA, or come over here and I can enter, and this will bring you into other lobbies, so you'll be able to join other games and the game or the old project of center of gravity is not actually a game but it is a place for you to be able to, to log into a master server and be able to find games with people that are in your same region so by handling it as a steam region based um, you're getting people that are close by that'll have a better ping and it's utilizing steam so therefore if somebody acts the, the fool that can be vac banned and you know that'll That'll take care of them for the most part. But with the um, each individual portion of the game itself, um, there the driving game is going to be based off of the original Motor City Online, and inspired by that, there will be classics. There will be 32 Ford Coupes all the way up to, you know, the 70 Mustang and and that era of muscle cars. There's going to be sport compact cars in their own separate division. There's also going to be modern muscle cars like the new Challengers, new Mustangs, new new vehicles like that. And we'll try to get them as close to the original cars as we can. But however, being on a low-budget system to where don't have the ability, which kind of baffles me, is 
if I want to showcase a Ford Mustang, a new Mustang in this this project, then I would end up having to contact Ford and get a license agreement with them. But I can't see me having to pay them to actually um and it's a hell of a throw on that traffic cone. Um I don't want to have to pay somebody for me to use their vehicle likeness in my game whenever they should be paying me to, to put their their vehicle in the game. Like this being a thirty two Ford coupe, I can very easily not not put a um any Ford logos anywhere on it and I can call it the Beefalo coupe if I want to. Or whatever. But yep. So there is progress going on. I do want to recruit some people that can handle some background stuff. Um and that would include modeling new cars. Um, and the car setups need to have damage capabilities so that, um, like, for example, the 32 Ford Coupe, the fenders need to be damaged or be able to take damage, the bumper, you know, front and back. Um, and for the example of this car, the top needs to be removable and can make this into a convertible. Um, the bumpers need to be removable, the fenders need to be removable, as is the running board. The hood needs to be removable so that you could actually hot rod this vehicle however you want to um, by going to the custom shop. But just the same as well, you go into a, um, a demolition derby with your beloved 32 Ford Coupe and there needs to be a level of damage or multiple levels of damage for defenders getting damaged if they're present, the bumpers getting damaged if they're present, um, the doors, the grill, things like that. So there's actually damage capability of each part. The parts themselves, I need someone to help with creating the um, the background stuff for the parts so that if you want to add on a pair of pizza cutter tires, well, you're going to be like riding on, on glass. But if you want to add some wider tires to it, maybe some, some better quality tires, then things like that that will change the stats of the vehicle and integrate them into the, the car. So I'll need help with that. Um, maps. I'll need somebody who is good with making racetracks and um, urban tracks and things of that nature. Um, so there's a lot of people that I'm going to need to do a lot of different things help-wise. Short term, I'm going to be using just what I have available, and that's just utilizing the um, the cars from City Studios, um, the Polygon City, and then I will try to re-rig the ones from Polygon Heist as well. But the only thing that are in the Polygon Heist pack is a, another police car, a helicopter, and a um, SWAT fan. But those won't be much use to, to regular players. So I'm not really worried about using them just yet. And they're not currently rigged correctly, so I can't easily swap them into the game. So... Um, yeah, if you want to join the team, if you've got any experience working with Unreal Engine 4, then please check in on the um, Discord channel. Let me know. And if you have any suggestions, also please let me know inside the Discord channel. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching. I just want to keep this as a short video, just to show the progress of what I did in only a short amount of time today and to see what I'm actually looking for. I'm also going to need some artists to do some um, some work. It's like the um, the current... Let me close that down. Actually go back into the other game from earlier. Stuff like the, uh, the main logo. I'll need someone to create a new logo. And of course I'm going to have to make a whole new background for the, the menu. I'll make a whole new menu system and it'll be based on the COG menu. Um, but we like a, a new logo that looks similar to the Motor City logo, but have in capital C, lowercase o, capital G, colon. So COG, Motor City is what we're going to roll with for the name for now. Can't use the online tag on there because Motor City Online was owned by EA Games. <laughs> Whatever. So, all right. That will be that. I want to keep this video short, and there it is. We're right at the 20 minute mark. I want to thank everybody that, that tuned in to watch this. And like I said, feel free to um, grab the link from the description or from the um, Discord channel 
and uh, yeah, give it a try. Tell me what you think, what you think could be improved on, that kind of stuff. And um, again, if you want to join the team, please let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.